to attempt to go down these stairs blindfolded. See if I can do it. I did it without dying. Yes. Good morning, boarders. It is so good to see you. Even though I can't see you, I can't really see anything right now. But it's very exciting to know that you are there. Anyways, I'm excited for our lesson today. We're going to learn about faith. We're going to learn about Jesus. And we're just going to have an overall good time. But before we get started, let's worship. So much better, I can see now. Things are gonna run a lot smoother now that I have my eyeballs back and my eyesight. So with that being said, let's get started. This song that I chose is called Give Me Faith. It's probably a song that most of you might know. Some of you might know it. It's a little on the slower side, but I chose it because it talks about us asking God for faith. It says, give me faith, give me trust in what you say. Um, because you're good and your love is great and it, it continues to talk about Lord Lord I need you I need you to soften my heart and to break me apart to open my eyes to see you um, and that's that's a lot of what faith is and um, I just thought it was so fitting because in our lesson we're gonna be talking about faith and what it means and why it's important so um, so yeah so we're gonna go ahead and sing this song if you know it please sing along and if not listen to the words because they're very powerful and very encouraging. So let's go ahead and sing the song.
Welcome to the So and So Show. I'm Brandon. Hello. And we're glad you're hanging out with us today. Yep. Hey, what is with the glasses? Whoa. Showing out my new toy that came in a cereal box. You're telling me those binoculars came in this box? Yeah. No, yeah, but they're really? not binoculars, they're micro goggles. Ooh, my, what's micro goggles? Yeah, they're, they're kind of like hands free microscopes. They help you focus in on tiny things so you can see them closer. Oh, yeah, okay. There's apparently a secret message on the back of this that I need to use these to find out what it says. Oh, really? Cool. What's the secret message say? Mm, eat more cereal. Huh. <laughs> you don't say. Yeah. Do you mind if I take a look? No. I guess it's kind of a subliminal marketing thing, huh? I don't think it's subliminal. Wow, man! Yeah. What are you saying? These things are useless. What? I'm sending them back. No, you don't have to send them back. Wait. wait. We could use them to play a game. Oh, great! It's time to play Random Magnified Things. Hey! Random Magnified Things. Okay, uh, this screen is about to show us random things as seen through your micro goggles. Okay. So, each image is magnified 100 times its normal viewing size. All we have to do is figure out what each thing is. Whoever gets the most right wins. Got it? Of course. Great, you go first. All right, hit me small. Hmm, that looks like, huh. uh, let's see, 100 times. I'm gonna go with like, it looks like a, it looks like a trombone, but that's too big, right? I don't That'd know. That'd be their actual size. Like this is how big a trombone normally is. Uh, it looks is. like a bridge to uh, me. Yeah, I I'm gonna go with a, a thumbtack. Thumbtack? Yeah, the curvature of the thumbtack. All right, sure. Okay, okay, great. Yeah, let's see if you're right. Uh, oh. You were in the right, right arena. Yeah, office supplies. That's right, okay, my turn. Show me tiny. Um, okay. I, I think I know what this is. I would guess it was like a, like a close up of like a grasshopper or something like yeah, that. But yeah, But there's a little red here. Mm -hmm. A little red and a little green. I'm gonna guess a strawberry. Ooh, strawberry it is. Brandon guessed a strawberry, what is it? Uh, oh, oh, tomato. Darn it. Oh, that's right, all right, all right. Back to me. Macro machines go. Mm. Oh, what in the world? <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait. You know? I know what this is. At first I thought it was a lemon. Okay. But it's not. I know what it is. Because we're magnified. That's yeah. that is a pencil. That's what I think too. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Did he get it? Pencil. Yeah. You're right. That was very good. That's very all right. Good. Me all again. Right. It's teeny time. All right. Hooah. Oh man, that's. I know what that is. I think I know what it is. It looks like my favorite uh, dessert. Is that an Oreo? It's an Oreo. Oh, I was right. Yes, you were. Mm. Okay. I want okay. some milk. Yeah. Me yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, it's my turn now, all right? <laughs> Micro machines go! All right. All right. What Ooh, do you think what that is that? Is? I don't know, it could be celery. Maybe like fiber opti optic cable it or... It does look like that. But it's bunched up like... Oh, oh, what no, 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 it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a toothbrush. Is it a toothbrush? You oh! betcha! Oh, well the boom! Well okay, I got right, another your turn, one. Your turn. Uh, minutia, hit me! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, is ooh. that more fruit? It looks, know, like... it looks like cracks in something. That is interesting. Like, a, oh my goodness! I uh, almost looks like a nose. It does. <laughs> Man, that is really hard. I'm going to say it's a, uh, it's a, it's a bowling ball. I don't know. I got a nothing. bowling ball. Yeah, so I can't. Okay, I don't know is it a is. bowling ball? <laughs> oh, oh, it's a bottle cap. Oh, I see. Great, great. Wow. I don't think we can afford that damage. No, but I don't think so either. <laughs> hey, okay, let's move okay, quickly. Uh, there's one more. <laughs> this round is worth a million points. Is it? Why did we bother with all the other rounds? We're both playing on this one, so the okay. first person to correctly identify the image wins. Are you ready? Yeah, you're killing me, Smalls. All right, go ahead and hit it. Mm, uh, uh, it's uh, it's uh, fool's uh, gold. No, 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 uh, no, no. It's it, cornbread. Cornbread. Corn, corn, no, it's the uh, it's uh, the inside of an orange. It's, no, I no, it's I'm not. not very good with color. Shush. Okay, <laughs> why it's, shush? Because I don't want you to win. It's, okay. it's a rock candy. Rock it's, candy, that's good. It's it's the inside of a, a, a bee. Honey, a honeycomb? hive, honeycomb. Um, it's a sponge. It's a sponge. It's a. It's not a sponge. Uh, oh. This is going to take forever. Uh, is it? Is it the, the cereal honeycomb? Ooh. No. Is it a cereal? Uh. Cereal. Cer it is cereal. It is. It's frosted flakes. I don't know who got that one. I, I said cereal. You, you said a cereal. We'll do 
500,000 each. Okay, great. Okay, so great. I win. Yeah. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys, what's going on? Why do you have binoculars on your face? They're not binoculars. Don't ask. Do you have something for us? Well, I do. It's all about folks who believe in something they couldn't see. Sounds perfect. The micro goggles. Take it away, Kellen. You bet. Now, we can't actually see God, not even with micro goggles. But we can see the stories of people in the past who put their faith in God. And I've got some special people to help me tell some of their stories. It's time for another edition of... The writer of the book of Hebrews reminds us of a guy named Abraham. What up? I'm Abraham. Well, actually, when God called Abraham, he was already pretty old. Oh. What up? I'm Abraham. Better. <laughs> Abraham and his wife, Sarah. I'm Sarah, with an H, in case you were wondering. Yeah, that's good to know. Even though they were old, they didn't have any kids. We ain't got no kids. But God told us to leave our home and go to a new land. He's promised us. Plus, he told us we would have kids. He promised. Look at us. We're old. We're like uh, cassette players or rotary phones. Didn't you hear what I said? I said he promised. Oh, then let's go. So they followed God and they had kids and grandkids, and great-grandkids. We got kids now! Yeah, we do! Yes, they did, just like God promised. God also promised Abraham that the whole world would be blessed because of Abraham's family. Abraham would not be alive to see the whole world being blessed, but he had faith that God would keep his promise. And now, let's talk about one of Abraham's great, 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 Great. Why not just say descendants? Yeah, that'd be easier. One of Abraham's descendants, Moses. Let my people go! Wait, before that, when Moses was a baby. <sighs> go, 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 go! He was rescued by his mother, who hid him in a basket on the banks of the Nile River. Whoa! Until he was found by Pharaoh's daughter. Oh, look at you, my sweet little mama! Baby? Yeah, so Moses was raised in the royal Egyptian family, even though he was actually an Israelite. The Israelites were slaves of the Egyptians. But one day, God spoke to Moses through a burning bush. I want you to bring the Israelites out of Egypt and into a land flowing with milk and honey. They are my people. As much as I love milk and honey, I'm not sure I'm the right guy for the job. I will be with you. Oh, well, all right then. Moses chose to stand with his own people, God's people, and he led them to freedom from slavery. Oh, you can do it now. Oh. <clears throat> Let my people go! Mwah, beautiful. Thank you. The Israelites were free from slavery. And even though Moses didn't live to see the land flowing with milk and honey that God promised his people, Moses still had faith that God would keep his promise. Then there was David, who was anointed to be king of Israel. That's right, I'm anointed. What does anointed mean? It means you're not king yet. I'm still the king, so give me that crown. Oh, okay, here you go, King Saul. Thank you. <laughs> You're not getting this back. I'm going to be the king, and then my son will be king, and then my son's son will be king, and then my son's son's son will be king, and then- Um, sorry, King Saul. God promised David he would be the next king. Promise? Oh, man. 
Thank you. David was the next king of Israel like God promised. And God promised that David's family would always have a king on the throne. And even though King David would not live to see the birth of his descendant, who would rule God's people forever, David had faith that God would keep his promise. These people, they lived thousands of years ago, and they didn't always see what God promised them. But God could see things they couldn't see. And guess what? We can see things they couldn't see. We know the whole world was blessed through Abraham's family because one of Abraham's descendants was Jesus. We know that the Israelites made it into the land flowing with milk and honey. Yes! Uh, I mean, <clears throat> praise God. And we know Jesus is also a descendant of King David. And even though we can't see forever, we can have faith that Jesus will always rule like a king because that's what God promised. The end. That was great, kids. Thank you so much for your help. That is so cool, Kellen. You don't actually have to see something to believe in it. That's right, which means you don't have to wear these anymore. Oh, yeah. True. We can have faith in God just by reading about people from the past. Or there are even things we can see today that can help us believe in God. Such as? Well, maybe you can see God in things he's created. Or you can see how God works in the lives of people around you. That's true. Thanks, Kellen. No problem. I'll catch you guys next time. Okay, and I'll see you then. Okay. You know, I believe in things I can't see all the time. You do? Yeah, like air. Can't see it? Believe in it, though. Oh. What? Nothing. I just I don't know, expected you to say something like leprechauns. Why would I say something like that? No reason. Do, do, do you know something I don't know, Brandon? Wait, are leprechauns, are leprechauns real? Are leprechauns real? Reveal the question. What are things you believe that you can't see? You got anything? I don't know, maybe, maybe leprechauns. Okay, what about you? What are things you believe that you can't see? Is it germs, uh, radio waves, or something else? Uh, talk about it together. Yeah, I gotta find one, because they'll lead me to their pot of marshmallows or whatever. Uh, there are no such thing as leprechauns. Yeah, yeah, what is I it? What is it? There, there's blue diamonds, orange stars, green clovers, purple hot shows. Okay, that was the so-and-so show, folks. Goodbye. Yeah, got to find. Come here. What'd you guys think? I loved how they taught about faith, how you don't have to see to believe. We can have faith in God even though we can't see him. Because faith is believing without seeing. And I loved how he said, he made a comment at the end, he said, faith is like air. And it reminded me that if you were to go to the beach and close your eyes, or even just now, if you, close, if you went outside, hopefully it's windy, and you close your eyes and there was wind, and then you can feel it on your face. But when you open your eyes, and even though you can still feel it, you can't really see it. It's the same thing with the Lord. Even though we can't see him, doesn't mean that he's not real. Doesn't mean that he's not being active in your life. Doesn't mean that he's not there in the midst of struggle. And it kind of also, another example it reminds me of is like those stairs in the beginning of the, the video. When I went down the stairs blindfolded, even though I couldn't see, I knew that the stairs were going to be there. I knew I had this knowledge that it's there and it's kind of like that same thing with faith even though I couldn't physically see the stairs I knew that it was there and that is faith it's believing without seeing and it's really important because even though we can't see God we can know that he is there and we can know that even in our deepest struggles that when we have faith and when we trust in the Lord he will be there no matter what to help you every step of the way I'm going to go ahead and pray for you guys, and then I'm going to wish you away. Lord, thank you so much for faith and that you've given it to us, this beautiful gift to trust you, um, to trust that you are with us, to trust that you are our strength, and that you are going to um, give us promises, God, that you never break. And so um, thank you for teaching us about faith and how we can use it and apply it in our lives. Um, we love you so much, and again, we are just so grateful for you and the tools that you give us like faith. In Jesus' name, we all say amen. Have a happy Sunday, guys. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. 
a few more things that we want you to know about. We have a great opportunity to serve our friends in nursing homes. They have been feeling lonely and sad lately and your art would really brighten their day. Mail it to the church or drop it by the front office. We will be promoting the weekend of June 6th and 7th. More info to come, so be on the lookout. Do you have a prayer request? We are praying for our Twin Lakes kids families. If there are any specific prayer requests you have, head to tlc.org slash kids to send us yours. Every Friday on Facebook and Instagram is Funny Friday. That means we need your best jokes. Head to our website to submit your funniest jokes to have them featured on Funny Friday. We have something new for you every day at Twin Lakes Kids on Instagram and Facebook. We have daily devos, worship song of the day, and then something fun and themed every other day of the week. Don't miss out, so follow us on Facebook and Instagram.